In spaceflight, things have to be right. Timken's been involved with every rover that is on Mars. That allows us to bring a vast amount of expertise to any problem and solve it in a way that's reliable and trusted. This is a Mars rover Curiosity bearing. It's a quarter inch precision radio ball bearing. It operates at 100,000 RPM and it is extremely efficient. Timken provided miniature radio ball bearings supporting the shaft for the turbo molecular pump. The Mars rover Curiosity is designed to search for the early signs of microbial life. It goes across the surface of the planet, it takes samples of soil and rock, and it analyzes those looking for things like water, minerals, and chemicals. So the sample will go into a carousel, the carousel will index forward, and even though Mars is in deep space, it still has a slight atmosphere, a thin atmosphere. This bearing will rotate the pump that pumps the thin atmosphere out and creates a vacuum condition so that the sample can be analyzed. Three times mission life is a standard spaceflight requirement. These bearings need to survive a long period of time in a vacuum environment, running at high speeds, with very little lubrication, and at the same time running extremely sensitive instruments. Timken engaged early with the customer, and we were able to collect a set of requirements and come up with a good design that we knew would work and support the system. The question then was going to come down to longevity and life, and we were able to put together a prototype sample with the customer, put it in an appropriate environment in a chamber, and run tests on it to see if we were going to reach that life. So the rover bearings are a special material combination, and they have a special lubricant solution in them that's actually a mix of grease and oil. And that allows us to have very long life because as the grease starts to wear out, the oil starts to come out of the retainer and relubricate the bearing. So there's a lot of reliability testing that goes on before anything would leave Earth, and that'll include work with Timken and the customer to simulate the environment that the system is gonna see. There's no opportunity for repair, rework, or relubrication in spaceflight applications. It's amazing to think that we're working on applications that not only affect us here and give us insights as to how our planet formed and where it may be going, but that we're looking at places where people could go in the future, somewhere that we might have an outpost and do even more exploration. It's a really exciting field.